Hi, good afternoon. This is Lunch with Laura. I'm so happy that you guys are with me today. I hope you guys had a great weekend. All right, so just let me tell you the dumb thing I did this weekend. I stepped all in it. But I'm going to circle it around and let me tell you how it relates to, you know, just your life, things that, you know, you may have done that you really regret, silly stuff, a chain of events. You were like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I got all turned around from that. <laughs> But anyway, I did. Okay, so here, here's the dumb thing I did this weekend. All right, so I went to um, they had special service on Friday night, went there, had a great time, and uh, met a young lady through my dance class. I do praise and worship um, the first Friday of every month. And so, you know, nice young lady. We hit it off. She's a little bit younger than me. Started talking. We're in the bookstore going over different books and all that. Great, right? So then I started to tell her, you know what? Um... I have a great class. I'll be at church again tomorrow, meaning Saturday, and I'm having a Hebrew class, and I'm having so much fun. I love it. Da da da. She was like, "Oh my goodness!" Her eyes got big as saucers. She's a little bit younger than me. She's like, "Oh my goodness! I would love that." You know, this very nice young lady's coming out of a situation where, at her um, former church, um, she had really experienced some emotional wounding out of that. You know, just kind of disappointment from you know members of the body of Christ, all that stuff. You know, we've already we've heard. So many times about people kind of leaving churches because they're offended and all that stuff. But anyway, I won't really get too much into that. But bottom line is she um, left the church with kind of a sour taste in her mouth. Let's put it to you that way. And anyway, so I'm talking to her and we're hitting it off. She's like, uh, and I was telling her the book that she would need for class. Other than that, the class is free. Thank you, God. Such a nice young lady, nice lady who is volunteering her time to teach the class. But it's not an official class at the church. So nobody knows where it is unless you've been going there. <laughs> um, because if you ask, you go to the information center at church, they won't know. It's not an official class. So, I, you know, we made uh, arrangements. She's like, you know, I want to make sure, I want to go. I was like, well, you know, maybe you want to visit the class. And she was looking on her phone at the book, and she's about to order. I said, like, you know, you might want to wait to make sure that you like the class once you sit in on the class first. She was like, no, 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 I know I want it. You know, she did this smile on her face from, from ear to ear, right? And so I was like, okay, great. You know, I'll, you know, the class is supposed to start at 4.15. Um, she said she'd be there at about 3.45. And I said I'd meet her um, on the first floor. Anyway, you know, that Friday night, my hands were full. I'm rushing. I said, you know, please, um, here's my phone number. Please um, call me so that I have your number. But I got home late. I did not put her name. You know, the, the number's there, but I didn't put her name in there. Went to bed, you know, dived into bed. Got up that next morning, rushing and running around. I put this deadline on myself to get my other video up and running. So I knew I had to edit that on Saturday. I brought all my computer stuff, went to church, got there early, started working, um, and took a break for a while, and then went back to it. And I got all turned around. It was a chain of events. <laughs> They got me all turned around. Um, the first thing that I, I told her the night before that I wasn't going to be actually be able to go to the Hebrew class because I had um, a mandatory required uh, new members class um, that I had to attend um, that started at 4 o'clock. And so, you know, I would still be able to show her where the, where the Hebrew class was, but I wouldn't actually be able to sit down and, and, and be in the class with her. Um, so that kind of got me off track because I'm not in my normal routine, right, of going to my Hebrew class. Um, so I'm thinking about that, and to be honest, I'm kind of murmuring, murmuring in my mind and complaining and whining and moaning. I don't really feel like going to this class. I'd rather go to my Hebrew class. I'm going to be behind now. You know, silly stuff. Dumb, dumb, silly stuff. It's just one Saturday, you know. I could get caught up in the Hebrew class, but I'm just being a brat, okay? I'm being an absolute brat. All right, so <laughs> I, um, I'm sitting there working, and I'm working off my battery. My computer's not plugged in, and it's about 20 minutes to 4, and I'm thinking, oh, shoot, you know, I don't want to lose the work I've been working on. I said, you know, what if I just go upstairs and um, sit in the class and plug in there, plug into the outlet and, and work until class starts. And then right before that, too, let me just confess, okay, there's a kind of cute guy in church, okay? Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Anyway, I haven't, I haven't spoken to him. I really haven't met him. I just think he's cute. And we kind of met eyes a couple of times, you know, that kind of thing. Other than that, I don't know anything about this guy. Nothing. Other than I just think he's cute. Anyway, so I, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing him. I see him just about every Saturday. So I'm like, I wonder if I can see him this Saturday. <laughs> so that's another thing that kind of got my mind off of what I was supposed to do. 
And so I did see him, but he was sitting by himself eating. I was like, dang it. He's probably not going to you know, come over and talk to me. I don't even think he saw me. So it's kind of in the, sitting in the corner. It was a darker area of the corner too, but I found it a little bit easier to see my computer screen and work and, you know, kind of stay out of the flow of traffic so I don't get so distracted by people walking by. And so I was like, oh, I blew it. I sat in the wrong place. <laughs> so he's not going to come talk to me. He's already eating now. Rats. You know, it was almost time for me to go up for my class. So I had that going on. Lord, forgive me. See that? Let some dude get me all turned around. I don't know anything about him. My bad. All right. So <laughs> um, anyway, I, I rush upstairs. And here's the stupid part, okay? I don't know why I was worried about losing my work. I was working in iMovie, which is a program that you get on your Mac computer. iMovie automatically saves your work. Even if you lose power, wherever you left off, it's going to save it. I'm worried about stuff that's not going to happen. So silly, so silly, you know? And again, just, just off my, just, you know, and I was, I was going up the stairs too. I, I felt like I was forgetting something, but I couldn't remember what it was. And I'm so busy rushing and running and so concerned and complaining about having to go to this class and just being a brat. I absolutely forgot and moved from where I was supposed to be. Okay, so I get upstairs and they're, you know, they're talking about, you know, me going ahead and signing in for the class and making sure that I sit in this particular group they want me to sit in. And the man's talking to me and my phone rings. And I look, I was like, oh, it's going to probably a telemarket. I didn't recognize the number. Duh, it's my friend calling me that I put, did not put her name on my phone, so I didn't recognize the phone number. Urgh! God trying to remind me and get my attention. And I'm so busy. Rah, 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 rah. I didn't stop to listen and say, hey, you know, and I felt like I still, I felt like I was forgetting something and I just allowed other people to distract me. I'm distracting myself, worrying about crap that's never going to happen. And this is a huge trigger for me. And I don't know if it's been a trigger for you. If you have struggled with perfectionism like I have, you know, most of my life, <laughs> you know, please let this be a video that really ministers to you. If you're forgetting, you know, if you're, you know, I always have to be, you know, poly perfect, right? <laughs> you know, if I don't do something perfect, I'm always, you know, the first one to, to take the bat and, you know, hit myself upside the head and really beat myself up. And I really need to remember to not even, not just take off the boxing gloves, but just don't put them on in the first place. Um, and just realize, you know, I missed her. She drove all the way to church and couldn't find me. I felt, you know, I wasn't like an hour and a half afterwards until I realized what happened after the, the, the new member's class was over. I was like, oh, dang it, I was supposed to meet her. And I just felt like a jerk. I felt like a first class jerk. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, she's already wounded by, you know, members of the body of Christ. And then she comes here and visits for the first time in this church and is supposed to meet somebody the next day and she screws her over. I'm like, Dang it. You know, that's what I'm thinking. She's thinking about me. Oh, you know, see that? You church people, you know, you're always promising stuff and not delivering. Rah, 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 you know, <laughs> I'm like, dang it. You know, she's already trying to recover from one situation. I'm sitting there adding to it. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. It's going through my mind. I'm feeling horrible. And I spend most of the night and then wake up tomorrow, the following uh, morning, just feeling like a piece of crap. And I had to, when I woke up that morning, and I'm still racing in my mind, I had to stop and say, you know, as I, as I, when I realized what I did, I texted her and I left her a voicemail message and I, was, and I just tripped over myself apologizing about how bad I felt about being such a knucklehead. <laughs> and it sort of speaking, I'm laughing, but I, I really did feel so bad. And anybody who knows me know that that's not my heart. It's not me. I don't just, you know, tell people, hey, I'm going to meet you and then just stand them up. Um, I really just felt like a jerk. So anyway, um, I woke up that Sunday, mo yesterday morning and I just said, okay stop. I have to take a dose of my own medicine because I'm always telling you guys, you know, you, you never go too far from where God can't find you. He always knows where we are. You know, he knows the end from the beginning. He'll always use every situation, every circumstance to get you to where he wants you to be, you know, because he's that powerful a God. You know, you can't uh, put a post up yesterday. You can't out sin his grace, right? Um, you can't mess up so bad that there's, there's, there's nothing that he can't redeem. And I'm always telling you guys that. And who went through all the night and the following morning, rant, 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 racing and running and doing all this ridiculous stuff and wasting time and wasting energy on a bunch of muckety muck that I can't change, you know, that I, that I didn't um, in, intend to do, um, but I can't, I couldn't change it. 
And so I needed to take a dose of my own medicine and say, stop, Laura. Stop the perfectionism. You made a mistake. Be quick to forgive yourself. So if you struggle with this, you know, always remember, let me just, let me just remind you. Because I had to, sometimes we have to remind ourselves and encourage ourselves. Like the song says, encourage yourself. That's really what I had to do. And that's what I'm seeking to do today. Encourage you. You know, when you mess up, be quick to forgive yourself. Um, I'm sure she probably went to bed that night and forgot all about it. Didn't think about it the following morning. And I'm still, you know, re rehearsing in my head how I should have done things differently. Um, and so I had to stop meditating on what was, the, what was negative um, and just put it in my heart that I'm sure that she forgave me. And I'm sure I'm going to see her again. I hope I, hope I see her um, this coming uh, Saturday, actually. I will text her a, a little bit uh, later on today um, just to see how she's doing. And, um, and just really take a page from there. Um, also, to learn to let it go. You know, just release it. Stop thinking about it. Stop rehearsing in your head what you do differently. Don't call up your friends and say, you know, how silly it was. You know, I did... You know, I write a blog this morning about this just to, again, you know, for people who won't watch this video but will see the blog, um, to get the message out there, the lessons that I learned. You know, stop meditating on stuff that was never going to happen anyway. Um, and, you know, be present in the moment. Stop and, and listen when you feel like, you know, God is tugging at you. Hey, you're forgetting something. Don't let the busyness of the day you know, just allow you to continue to blow through, you know, the, the warning bells and the red flags that God's waving saying, hey, you forgot something <laughs> because I failed to take care of her because of it. And so, and I, I disappointed someone and I hate when I do that and I have to learn to forgive myself um, because I'm sure she has forgiven me. And so I hope that that encourages you today, you know, just to, to let it go. You know, if you need to write it on a piece of paper and you know, then rip it up and say, you know, Lord, I just cast this to you in the name of Jesus and throw it in garbage, you know, and, and, you know, really have that as prophetic act in your mind that you're just casting it to the foot of the cross and you're leaving it there <laughs> um, and not, you know, not to, to revisit it and pick it up and um, really just put on just praise and worship and remember God's grace and his forgiveness and um, his goodness because he's a good, good papa and he doesn't want us to waste time. You know, all the, all the minutes that I wasted time, you know, meditating on that was time that I didn't spend on figuring out how I was going to expand my business, figuring out how, you know, I can be a blessing to other people. You know, just figuring out all the, you know, all those different things, all the, staying in positivity. So stay in positivity. God loves you. You know, don't be hard on yourself, you know, and, you know, but perfectionism, you know, you get, I'm, I'm going to make mistakes. And I have to realize that it's not going to be a fatal thing, a fatal error, whereas no one's ever going to trust me, whether it be personally or professionally. You know, I'm here confessing this, you know, as a life coach and people who's supposed to guide people, <laughs> right? You know, that's the irony of it. You know, we, are, we teach ourselves to hide these things and we have to be perfect because nobody's ever going to trust us. You know, nobody's ever going to look at us as... Um, a source of information, as a trusted source of some, someone that they can rely on to guide them through some of life's most difficult things. And that's what I do, life's most difficult circumstances. You know, when you're, when you're divorcing someone, you know, or, through, or after your breakup, when you're trying to get to your new normal, that's what I do. And so I just know I, sometimes I struggle with that. Sometimes I forget who I am. You know, I forget my identity in Christ. And so if you do that, forgive yourself. Remember you, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you have the mind of Christ, and that um, you can extend, you know, the olive branch and say that you're sorry. And know that sometimes that's all that you can do, and, some, and, and that has to be enough. So enjoy the rest of your lunch. <laughs> I hope somewhere along the line you get a kick out of that story too, especially about the cute guy. I'll keep you updated. Anyway. <laughs> I will talk to you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your lunch. Take care.